Now, if you don't have the possibility to constantly work on others, obviously I develop the system to heal and help yourself. Um, when, when I work on somebody one-on-one, -on -one, obviously I, I learn to feel the energy go around them, feel where those areas are. However, when about 35 years ago, right as I started, somebody asked me like, well, can you, can you help me? And they were in a different town far away. Well, you know, you can just concentrate from there. I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I could do that. And it worked. And slowly I developed, well, first I learned some meditation methods and I developed my own meditation method. And now basically every day I start my day by working in my PJs sometimes. I have clients uh, from here to Australia. Um, I usually work on five to 10 people a day that I've never met and, and we never had a contact. However, for long distance healing, I have to go down into a very deep meditation and visualize everybody and work on them like that. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, we can watch TV, it goes automatically after so much time. And sometimes I notice that I could be even driving and, and working on somebody somewhere else. You know, the brain is, is uh, kind of weird. We don't know much about it still. There's also a gazillion cells there, you know, but uh, how, to, how to utilize it to, to the highest point. We use about 10% of it and drink away most of it during a lifetime. So who knows what else the other 90% are capable of. You know, we could be probably hovering and, and talking without cell phones if we, if we went that way in our evolution. Uh, do you have any questions so far? Okay, so what I would like you to show you is how to feel this energy. And I'm sure many of you have felt it already. This is like preaching to the choir here. Um, but we have some easy, fast ways to, to feeling the energy and then how to utilize it for, for some basic moves. Okay, so put your arms out like straight like this and, and relax them all the way. Okay. I want you to feel the difference between putting the arm straight out like this and just dropping it. If this is all relaxed, there's a little bit of tension here. Good. So with this tension, hold an imaginary basketball. Just bring it in like this. Keep the elbows down. Let the elbows down. Let them relax. Just concentrate on holding the ball with slight tension in your fingers. Your fingers are separated like this. And when you think you have the ball, give it a little squeeze. And again, just an inch. Push, it, push your hands closer by an inch, let them back. Make sure your elbows are free, hanging down. And just do this back and forth. You can even speed it up a little bit. What do you feel? Go around a little bit, everybody. A little bit of resistance as if there was a ball, right? Yeah. How about a little bit of heat? A little tingling. Good. Even if you try to move your, your, your knuckles a little bit, your fingers, you'll see how your knuckles feel as if they needed lubrication, right? They're a little squeezy, uh, squeaky. Okay. Now, while you're doing that, bounce back and forth and bring your hands a little bit closer. There will be some areas where you feel more or less of that heat. You're passing some layers of that energy. Now bring it all the way to an inch distance. Make your hands flat, fingers straight, just like this. You'll probably feel even more of that heat. Mm -hmm. Now, Start slowly rolling your hands like this. Wicked feeling, right? Nice. You feel that center of rotation, like your hands want to follow a certain path. And if you make the distance even longer, you can still feel the middle, middle of, your, of your hands. You're just following a certain path. That's the... That's a chakra right in the middle of your, of your hand. 
That's, that's what you feel, a little energy center. Now stop for a moment right here and pull your palms apart very slowly. Can you feel the resistance to that motion? Mm -hmm. That's because the magnets are not only between your hands, they're on the outside as well. And now if you go back and forth, you'll feel more and more of this resistance going back, I'm in both directions. 